begin planning your mission, center the area you wish to fly on your screen. Then, navigate to the Plan tab in the upper left-hand corner. The map will load and the Mission Planning Wizard will appear. Select the Survey option. A launch point and a takeoff waypoint will appear on the screen. Move the launch point to the approximate area where you will launch the aircraft from. Then, place the takeoff waypoint. The takeoff waypoint is used to tell the aircraft which direction it will be launched and gives it a location that is safe to climb to altitude at. Place the takeoff waypoint such that the aircraft will be launched as into the wind as possible while also avoiding obstacles. In this video, we will assume the wind direction is west to east. The known obstacles at this location are a large tree and power lines that run parallel to the road. To avoid the obstacles and launch as into the wind as possible, a crosswind takeoff will be used. The takeoff waypoint is placed southwest of the planned launch site. A distance of approximately 500 feet from the launch site is recommended to give the aircraft enough space to climb over obstacles. Keep in mind that the aircraft may not be at altitude by the time it reaches the takeoff waypoint. If this is the case, the aircraft will loiter around the waypoint while gaining altitude. On days with no wind, opt to throw the aircraft in the direction with the least number of obstacles to avoid. Then, press the Done Adjusting button. Next is the survey planning portion. There are four ways a survey can be planned. Basic, Circular, Trace, and Load KML slash Shape. Basic will place a generic rectangular survey on the screen. Drag the center of the survey over the center of the field you are going to fly over. Then adjust the corners of the survey. If your field is a geometry that cannot be covered with a rectangular shape, use the small plus icons to add more vertices to the survey shape. The circle option will place a circular survey pattern on the screen. Use the button on the right hand side of the pattern to make the circle smaller or larger. The trace pattern allows you to trace the outline of your field to create the shape of the survey. The points must be placed in a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern. Press Done Tracing when finished. Use Load KML slash Shape to load a field boundary to use it as the survey shape. A file browser window will appear. Select the boundary file you want to use and press Open. The boundary will appear on your screen. Press Done with Polygon when finished adjusting the survey area. Select the type of data you wish to collect by selecting a preset from the drop-down menu. Selecting the different presets will change the altitude and overlap settings for the flight. The flight direction can be changed by typing values into the angle box or by using the slider below. Change the flight direction to account for wind direction and efficiency. Adjust the survey entry point by using the rotate entry point button. This will change where the aircraft enters and exits the survey. A flight pattern that flies crosswind and turns into the wind is the most efficient flight pattern for most conditions, the exception being long skinny fields. Press Done Adjusting once you are satisfied. Plan the landing by clicking the point where you want the aircraft to land on the map. The landing pattern will appear. The green box represents the area where the aircraft will land. The yellow glide slope region is where the aircraft will be flying in a straight line while descending to the landing point. The green circle is the descent loiter where the aircraft will descend from mission altitude to breakout altitude while loitering. The marked altitudes along the glide slope region are reference altitudes. The aircraft may be above or below the marked altitudes at any time during the glide slope region. In this example, the loiter should be flipped to the other direction to avoid the previously mentioned power lines.
press Done Adjusting to open the rest of the landing pattern settings. Then select the Loiter Clockwise checkbox. Make any final adjustments to the landing pattern. In this example, the landing point was moved to the east. This meant the glide slope needed to be adjusted from 6.3 degrees to 6 degrees. 6 degrees is the maximum glide slope for PHX. To save the mission, press the file button in the upper left hand corner. Then press save as. A file browser window will appear. Name the mission and press save. When connected to an aircraft, there will be an upload button in the upper right hand corner. Press the upload button to send the mission to the vehicle. When the mission is uploaded to the vehicle, it will be checked for errors. If any errors are found, they will be displayed in yellow warning boxes at the top of the screen. Thanks for watching and visit our website at www.sentera.com for more information.